MTV World Stage presents. In this issue, we will talk about Jay Deadmau5 about his career and before he became famous. Joel Zimmerman, born January 5, 1981, better known as Deadmau5, is a Canadian progressive, electro and house Jay and producer. However, Deadmau5 himself is categorically against any classification of genres in which he plays. The pseudonym Deadmau5 was coined when Zimmerman, replacing the video card, found a Deadmau5 in his computer. He communicated this to people in the chat room and became known there as the Deadmau5 guy. After that, he shortened the nickname first to Deadmau5 and then to Deadmau5. The world-famous pseudonym Deadmau5 is accompanied by an original stage costume in the form of a huge head of a smiling mouse, which Zimmerman invented himself based on the logo of the 3D program. The first such mask, at the request of Deadmau5, was created by a Toronto-based film set company. Deadmau5 recalls, when I first went out to perform in it, the audience was shocked. They probably thought, who is this? He is that, seriously? But they quickly relaxed. And when the helmet started flashing in time to the beat, they were completely mad. But dance music is often accused of lack of theatricality, but this is not about Deadmau5. It's hard to believe that back in 2006, Deadmau5 was completely unknown. Since childhood, Deadmau5 has been obsessed with computers. He began to combine technique with music even before he even started playing, working at festivals where every performer wanted to get a recording after the concert. Deadmau5 was one of the few who controlled a computer. They were all called to musicians, but when it came to technology, here I was at my best, and they are historically somewhere like dinosaurs. I already knew everything about digital audio and how you can create music on a computer. However, Deadmau5 never stopped being a geek. Already as an artist, he continued to work as a web developer. On his shows, Deadmau5 uses mostly handwritten programs. By the way, in the biography of Deadmau5 there is a fact of participation in the development of the TouchMix application for the iPhone. By the way, at the time the future Deadmau5 did not see himself on stage at all, I dreamed of being a producer, but I wanted to promote other artists. Everything I wrote was more of a hobby. The first release took place at Deadmau5 in 2006, although it was more of a joke, a track with Steve Duda under the pseudonym Saad, a blue screen of D. In the process of joking, one thing was left out, a house beat with a digital voice took the top of the beat court chart. Then Deadmau5 and Steve Duda decided that while these jokes will bring money, then you can fool around. And they made a whole album, they even mixed Christina Aguilera. But when the money ran out, Steve Duda returned to Los Angeles. Maybe we'll write something together on behalf of Saab, says Deadmau5, besides, we still write programs together. Joel Zimmerman doesn't like being called a J. This unique Deadmau5 plays rather not sets, but performances, live shows. Mostly Deadmau5 performs their own material using their own programs. I don't play CDs. If people come to Deadmau5, they have the right to listen to Deadmau5 music. A key moment in the rise in popularity of Deadmau5 was the fall of his track Facts in Berlin in the hands of Pete Dawn in February 2007. Since then, Deadmau5 has been releasing digital singles one by one, created his own label Motrap Recordings, and was featured on at least 15 dance compilations in a year. In 2009 Deadmau5 already performed and was a headliner at the largest electronic music festivals Oxygen, Love Evolution, while Sonic, Leeds, Reading, Creamfields. And 2010 made Deadmau5 a truly iconic figure, he played at the medal awards during the Winter Olympics, received awards from the International Dance Music Awards, became the hero of the computer game J Hero 2, even lost consciousness at the concert as a result of endless exhausting performances. But the fact remains, after three years of being in the JMAG Top-100 rating, Deadmau5 takes fourth place, and this is even before his third album is released. Smartwatch is not only a decoration or an element of an outfit, but also a personal assistant that makes life easier and motivates you to do sports. Smartwatches can help reduce the amount of unnecessary body movement. And you don't have to take your smartphone out of your pocket while driving or in a subway car to see who is calling you or who sent you a message on Twitter or Facebook. With this gadget, you will not miss an important color reminder. You will be able to switch a music track on the smartphone player. And this is not all the useful features of a smartwatch. They are able to show the time, read your SMS messages, monitor your health, motivate you to play sports, and wake you up in the morning with care. No wonder these watches are called smart. We understand in detail what these modern gadgets have learned and what they can help us with.
to be punctual. The watch is first of all about the time. However, the smartwatch screen is turned off most of the time to save power. Many watches have. 